that doesn't mean that each language is treated exactly the same because each language has a different history. Papiamento is the language spoken by the majority as their home language. It has to sp play a special role in education. Papiamento is also the language that is a, a first language or a strong second language for 90% of the people on the island. So it's got to play a special role in education because in education, we always try to use the language of the students to teach them other things, okay? So it does, just because we're talking about a, a multilingual school where all the languages are used, we're not saying that all the languages are equal. Dutch, in particular, is going to have to be completely reimagined, completely. Dutch has to be reimagined as a cool language that's going to attract the kids, okay? Not the language where, oh, fought, 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 you'll never succeed. Yeah, you see how they do? Yeah. So in other words, Dutch has to be completely reimagined. English, we have to be careful with English because if you keep that monolingual mindset that it's only one language, the future for Peonero, forget it. It's just going to be English. If you keep that mindset, forget it. Forget Papiamento, forget Dutch, forget Spanish. It's going to be English. And you'll just be another boring place on the, on the map. But what if you gave your teachers the permission and the opportunity to use all the languages? They're there in the classroom. You have Dutch speakers, you have Spanish speakers, you have Papiamento speakers, English speakers. Use that. What a resource you have right there in front of your eyes. And the teachers, when they do it, the inspector comes and says, Fought! This classroom, I don't know what's going on. There are too many languages in there. Fire. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's really how we ha uh, the mindset has to change. But we're not talking about something new in Bonaire. We're talking about what you've been doing all this time. The people of Bonaire for centuries have been doing this. Inclusive, uh, being inclusive, being multilingual. Okay? So it's not something that Bonarians are bad at or cannot do. It's something that you've proven you can do in spite of an administration, in spite of uh, language policies, in spite of language practices that do everything. When you try to be monolingual, they put, it in your, uh, they put an obstacle in your way. 